Mel Kuyper has just dropped his first mock draft of the offseason. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Talking Jets with Tigo. My name is Tigo, and today we're going to talk about, well, Mel Kuyper's first mock draft of the offseason, and I got to be honest with you. I have not been the biggest fan of Mel Kuyper for a long time. I've always felt like his draft evaluations have been wildly, and I mean wildly bad and just off and just... I feel like he's too reactionary in kind of a thing. Like, this is his full-time job. Like, he shouldn't be a reactionary type of guy. And a guy who's like, oh, I'm just going to focus on the, you know. As an evaluator, you need to look at the whole body of work when it comes to a player. Especially when you're looking at the first round, which is where a lot of these evaluators make their money, right? It's these first round mocks. What are these teams going to do in the first round? And... You know what? If you're off on a guy who's got like a third round grade, cool. You probably didn't watch every single snap of that guy's career. But like, there should be no excuse for the top 50 guys, top 100 guys. You have nothing to do all year. All you have to do is to watch these players and evaluate these players. Do that. And I think we continue to see Mel Kuyper just absolutely fumble his draft evaluations. It blows my mind that he's continues to be employed as a draft evaluator for ESPN. It has to be because he's a character and because of his name and not because of his takes, because this mock draft, this first round mock draft, we're going to be reacting to what he has for the, the Jets. Pit. It's just insane, man. It's just insane. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about what he has the Jets doing at number 10 overall. And then we'll react to it. So obviously the New York Jets with the number 10 overall pick. He has the New York Jets taking an offensive tackle, which isn't all that surprising. I'm pretty sure every mock draft this offseason is going to probably have the New York Jets taking an offensive tackle at 10. And we know my thoughts on that. But he has the New York Jets taking offensive tackle Olufashanu out of Penn State. At the number 10 overall pick, taking the second offensive tackle off the board, Joe Alt again in another mock draft, goes to the Tennessee Titans um, at number 7, and Romo Dunze is off the board as well. He goes number 9 to the Chicago Bears. Again, not a situation that we love to see. I would love to have Romo Dunze on the New York Jets roster personally. I think it would be a great, great fit, but it is. Just didn't work out. Now, what do I think about the Olufashanu pick? Well, Olufashanu is a great offensive tackle prospect. He is offensive tackle two on my big board, regardless of team needs and team evaluations, right? I love Olu, and I love the depth and the ability that he brings to the NFL. The only problem that I have with Olu is that he isn't ready to start in the NFL day one. I think he's incredibly raw, but has an insanely high ceiling. And by the time we're going to see a guy like Olufashanu come into his own, Aaron Rodgers is going to be gone. And it's wasting Aaron Rodgers' years that he's here with developmental years for Olufashanu. Because I just don't know how ready he is to come in and play at a high level day one. And so... With all of the tackles on the board going Olu Fashanu, except for Joe Alt, obviously, who would be the best pick, going and getting Olu Fashanu just surprises me a little, especially with some of the other guys that apparently he's really high on, but then he has pushing down the board because there's not another tackle taken until 18 to the Cincinnati Bengals in J.C. Latham being the third tackle off the board, which, again, I just don't agree with. And then Talise Fuaga going 22 to the Philadelphia Eagles, which makes sense. The Eagles taking a tackle, but Talise Fuaga at 22, I just don't see it. And then Jordan Morgan going in the first round at 24 to the Dallas Cowboys. Again, I see Jordan Morgan as a first-round pick, possibly, but 
not ahead of some of these other guys. This one just blows my mind. Kingsley Suamatia in the first round, 25 to the Green Bay Packers, ahead. Uh, and then again, another crazy first round pick, Tyler Gaetan out of Oklahoma, going ahead of guys like, you know, Amarius Mims. And it just, it continues to show that Mel Kuyper just doesn't, I don't know, man. I think he's just kind of lost when it comes to some of these evaluations. And he's been lost for a while now, in my opinion. Let me know. Again, I, Mel Kuyper, man, I don't know what he's doing or what he's talking about. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd love to know your opinions. And last but not least, go Jets.